though, with the Federal Reserve working aggressively to bring down inflation, it says. While these efforts may cool off the red-hot housing market, it's new homeowners who are footing the bill here. The average 30-year mortgage rate in the U.S. topping 7% this week. The last time the country saw a rate this high was in April of 2002. A year ago, the rate was less than half what it is now at 3.1%. The Federal Reserve has raised its key interest rate several times this year to try and calm inflation and consumer spending. Those factors are pushing the mortgage rate up and the demand to buy a new home down. So what can you do? If you're a new homeowner or still in the market for a new house, 7 News reporter Krista Moran spoke with <laughs> local mortgage experts for their advice for you. With average long-term mortgage rates topping 7% this week amid historic inflation and fears of a recession, Western New York still remains a good housing market for you. I would say it's uh, calming. It, it wasn't what it is, you know, eight months ago, but it's still definitely a seller's market. Jay Herlin with 716 Realty Group has this advice. Don't let the latest rates scare you. Especially in Western New York. Um, Western New York area is a very uh, unique pocket. And Western New York right now is still so far below the national average in terms of average sale price. For North Buffalo in the Hurdle Avenue area, Herland says the average single family home price is $240,000 compared to the national average, $348,000, according to the Zebra. So when it comes to buying a home now, if you need to make a move, make a move. So amid these sky high rates, we also want to help you explore some possible solutions. Herlin says stay educated. Definitely don't hold off in the market because of the interest rates. Uh, I would say talk to your you know, local lender, local real estate agent and you know, give you the best advice and just give you all the current market data. Steve Mendelson with Key Bank Mortgage agrees, saying knowledge is power when it comes to home buying. When they come into the office and they're interested in purchasing a home, um, whether they're a first time buyer or they're looking at purchasing a second home, whatever the case may be, the variables always seem to change a little bit year to year. And that's why he says it's all about helping his clients find the best plan designated for them. So when it comes to saving up for your mortgage. Every month we'll, we'll provide you know, we'll see their paychecks and we'll say every month you should be banking this. And if you hold to this, you will have this by the end of a quarter. Bottom line, these experts say do your homework and know there are resources to help you. To pass along this word of advice from Hurlin, he says do not hold off. It's the worst thing you can do, adding if you're considering leaving an apartment to become a first time home buyer, that mortgage payment is an investment in your financial future and creates an asset for you. Live in the studio, Krista Morand, 7 News.